You all know that in this magical world of golf, I love top quality golf clubs at rock bottom prices. Well, today we have two golf clubs, which I honestly think compare a lot closer than what you may think. And price wise, there should be around a hundred pounds between them. We have the Tacoma 101 U driving iron and we have the TaylorMade P790 UDI driving iron. These retailed at 229 pounds, but I've seen recently they have dropped a little bit to around 189 pounds. The Tacoma, 129 pounds. So still quite a lot cheaper than the tailor-made equivalent. Guys, today we're gonna to test it out here on the golf course. We're also gonna test these two driving irons in the studio for numbers, ball speed, distance, spin rate, and everything you want to know. So make sure you stay tuned and find out exactly which one potentially you should buy for the money. These clubs are identical specs, both two iron, both the same length, both the same loft, both graphite shaft. You can see actually, we have the hazardous smoke shaft in the tailor-made and we have the KBS hybrid shaft in the Tacoma. So two very, very similar shafts. However, the tailor-made is 10 grams heavier. So bear that in mind. So looks wise for these two golf clubs, they both look quite different actually. Both of them are a two iron driving iron. Both of them feature around 19 degrees of loft. But as you can see, two totally different looking clubs. I find it interesting how we have the logos in the same place. We have kind of a little bit of text in the same place and we have more writing on the hosel there. But realistically, I think if you didn't know branding, you didn't know tailor-made was one of the biggest golf brands in the world, and Tacoma was a kind of up and coming brand from Europe, I don't think you'd really tell too much of a difference looking from shelf appeal. I think looking this way, TaylorMade have that visual technology in the through slot speed pocket, which I think does really work. If you catch them a little bit bottomy, you do start to see enhanced ball speed numbers in relation to club head speed numbers, and that helps spin rate as well. The wider sole on the Tacoma certainly helps with strike. It certainly helps if you're not quite catching those clubs. And on the face, as you can see, very, very similar. Blade length, very similar. I think the Tacoma is a little bit longer. You can see we've got more surface area from the toe there and a little bit more offset. So realistically, two very similar clubs, but two very different clubs as well. We're gonna test the TaylorMade first here. And this is a tee shot, which I quite like. It's a dog leg to the right. You have to be quite accurate towards that post in order to leave yourself a nice attacking shot in. Guys, which one would you buy for the money? And which one would you potentially have in your bag in 2000? and 24. So looking down at the TaylorMade P790 UDI driving iron, for me, this is one of the best looking driving irons I've ever seen. It's a nice mid top line. There's not too much offset on there. And one of the big positives here, and it's a positive for me, it may not be a positive for you. It may be quite subjective, is you don't see much of that back line here. So you can just see the leading edge, but you don't see too much surface area behind it. So for someone who wants a nice versatile driving iron, this may be the one for you. Whereas when we come to look at the Tacoma in a few moments time, looks more forgiving, bit more offset, bit thicker. Po positive for everyone, positive for everyone, and a bit more forgiving. So let's see what the ball flight differences are like for the price difference. Now that wasn't my best strike, but straight away, well, it's taking that all day to be. Brutal honest, I actually fatted that, not my best stuff. Hit the big ball. But the, hit the big ball before the little ball there. But that's one of the things I quite like testing in these videos. How forgiving are they on the first tee when you haven't really had a loosener or a warm up? Can you still get away with it? We've gotten away with that one there. It's nicely in the middle of the fairway, but it's nowhere near that post that we want to get near. So, second attempt. It looks so good down at the ball. This I've played some really nice shots over the years better so much better straight at that post lovely high ball flight and when you do strike this out of the middle it feels sensational even on days like today where um we've taken a nice divot from there it feels fantastic i don't know how TaylorMade managed to get the p790 this generation feeling so good but they managed it so now if we look at the tacomo quite a bit thicker quite a bit more offset quite a big clumbersome looking bottom line but if you're stuck between a hybrid and a driving iron this could certainly be a club that you think about putting in the bag price wise we've discussed it, it is a little bit cheaper so realistically how much difference is there to that guys comment below which one do you prefer the look of on top i don't mind this we've played with these on the next 100 tour we're gonna get chris involved in this video actually because he absolutely rips his four iron his four iron goes further than my two iron which I'm not gonna lie, it's quite disappointing, but still feel like you get the versatility having played with this. And that's one of the things you certainly don't want to lose in a forgiving club. A similar strike to the first one there, quite heavy, not my best, 
foot that is at that post so we'll take that all day and feel wise with this it certainly doesn't feel doesn't feel as buttery soft as the tailor-made maybe that's what you're getting when you pay the extra big bucks for the tailor-made the tailor-made features a through slot speed pocket to enhance ball speed on low face hits it features speed foam we all know that both these clubs are a hollow body design this one doesn't have speed pocket doesn't have speed foam and it's yeah a little bit more generic but generic's never really been a bad thing especially when you can strike it like that so that's the shot i was hoping for because that felt absolutely gorgeous and that's why I think you can go and spend not as much money as you would hope and get quite a good performance in 2024. Guys, let's jump in the studio. Let's see just how these irons do compare for numbers. Then we'll jump back out here, hit some shots from the fairway and see potentially which one you should have in your bag for the money in 2024. So guys, numbers for the Tacoma 101U and TaylorMade P790 UDI. I think potentially we could have some quite similar numbers here to be honest, with the look of these clubs, I would hope to see maybe a more powerful shot with the P790 overall because of the technological advances that it has. Even difficult to say that. But I would expect the Tacomo maybe to be a little bit more forgiving because of the shape of it. So without any further ado, let's hit a couple with each and let's see the good, the bad and the ugly. Straight away, a nice one down there with the TaylorMade. That's going to pitch just over 200 potentially. 206 running up to 215 bang down the middle which is what i would hope for with this club obviously this is a club you're going to try and play safe with didn't feel like the best strike so maybe we can get a little bit more ball speed out there and maybe get it a bit more penetrating as well that was better that was a lot better fading a little bit again going to carry just over 200 yards 210 running up to 220 Good numbers for me, really. It's been just over 3,000. A nice ball speed of around 137-ish. Very, very consistent, actually. Strike location, as you can see on the big screen. Rather toey. Goes me up more than the club. That was the one. I can't hit it longer than that. I pulled it a little bit, de-lofted it a little bit. Wow, that's carried 235. It's gone in the rough. Finish 237, spinning at 3,000 again, so still maintaining good spin rate no matter where I strike it on this face, which I do quite enjoy. One more of them would be nice. I can't hit this club any better than that. To say I've not pulled that, I'm that straight down the middle of the fairway, pitching 217, running up to 230 yards. I could safely call this a 220 yard club for me, which I think hitting off the tee as a little bit of a safety club would be perfect. Now let's swap it out for the Tacoma 101U. It has some pretty hefty boots to fill. Can this get past the TaylorMade? Some pretty big boots to fill. Now that didn't feel like a great strike. Is it gonna carry as far? It's carried 196. It wasn't the best strike. It was quite bottomy. Spin was up at 3.7. Ball speed was right down there, sub 130. So not the best ball speed in relation to the hit. Lovely and straight that time though. And that one's up there with the TaylorMade. Is it 203 carry? Not quite as far yet again as the TaylorMade. Similar to the left one that we hit with the Tamer. So hitting similar shots here. And the Tacoma is struggling for distance, actually, with numbers. Out on the golf course, you don't perhaps see it as much. But in here, we're not quite getting the ball speed that you would anticipate that results in the distance. But this time... Wow. That is so much lower than any of the other ones. And that's up there at 216 carry, 235 total. The longest shot of the day, spinning sub 2000. So if you do put a good swing on the Tacoma 101U, you can get it out there as far as anything. But consistency wise, I think it's fair to say the Tacoma can't really keep up with the TaylorMade. And that's as good as I've got. That one's gone a bit higher. Is this one going to carry over 210? It's still in the air. It's a 220 carry. 230 total once again, 
I think here the technological advances of the TaylorMade are really helping it maintain ball speed on the off centre hits. But I think this bad boy out the middle would take some beating, especially for that price that we keep harping on about. Let's get back out on the golf course and let's finish this where it counts. That sounded incredible, didn't it? Go on, 210 again, 217, 227 total. So numbers wise, very, very interesting there. And it all boils down to money for me. Money, 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 which one would you buy for the money? I think these are performing pretty similar. I think the TaylorMade certainly feels nicer, certainly sounds nicer. If that matters to you, it might not matter to you at all. It certainly matters to me. I think you want something that feels nice, that sounds nice. But then after a couple of shots, you're still not gonna be jumping in and out of one club. So you would probably get used to that sound. You'd get used to that feel. And after a round of golf, you're probably never going to notice the difference again. So again, we come back to the money side of it. Yes, you can get the TaylorMade a little bit cheaper than its RRP from last year when it was released. But if you go direct to Tacoma, you know that you're going to be paying 50, 60 pound less minimum, which is a nice green fee for somewhere to go and enjoy your golf. So those first shots that we hit, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm astounded as to how well that first shot with the TaylorMade UDI did. This is my first time hitting golf balls in about four or five days, which for me is a lot. We had the Easter holiday off. That one's an exception though. We have two bad shots. We have the TaylorMade bad shot, the first one, the Tacomo bad shot with the first one. Then the good shots have gone very similar distances. All of these shots are in the fairway, which to be honest is what I would hope for with a driving iron, because if you start going driving iron off the tee and missing fairways, you gotta go to plan C and plan C is never good. Plan C is Chris's seven wood. Oof. So one of the big things I always want from a driving iron, and I want it from the irons that I would play as well, is versatility. Forgiveness is very important, but I also want to be able to play the shots that I'm going to play out on different golf courses, out on Lynx golf courses. So versatility for me means being able to move it right to left, move it left to right, but also hit it nice and low and penetrating when I would want to do. I think you're going to be able to do that more potentially with the TaylorMade UDI, just because of the makeup, just because of that leaded edge, and just because of how the CG is located in the head. That also means it's probably not as forgiving as the Tacoma. We both know that these irons derive from full sets of irons, the Tacoma 101s, which were Tacoma's first ever flagship iron, and of course, TaylorMade's P790 irons, which let's face it, have transformed the game of golf forever with hollow bodied irons. So first up, I'll go Tacoma. And I'll try and just play a nice low, little bit of a stinger. I would never like saying the term stinger because I think it's reserved for Tiger, but can I? Oh, that's delightful. That's really nice. Lovely low fading stinger right down the middle of the fairway. Perfect turf interaction, what I would want with this club. And I sort of know I can play that because we've played so many Lynx courses with these golf clubs. We've done it loads and loads of times. Chris has done it, I've done it, you've done it really, really well, haven't you? throughout the time. Now it's just a case of, can we match it with the TaylorMade? I'd like to think you can for versatility. Oh, delightful. Two shots exactly the same. I feel like actually the Tacoma surprised me a little bit there because I could still play it low. I could play it to be honest, as low as I would want to, but still have the forgiveness of that leading edge on the bottom. Two very interesting results here. We have the Tacoma ball on the left, which is more central and a little bit further. The TaylorMade ball on the right-hand side, which was a little bit more movement on it. It actually went a little bit higher as well. I felt like those two golf swings were very, very similar. The path will have been quite steep and a little bit to the left in order to get that de-lofted ball flight. I'm gonna take both of those all day. But well, the big shock there for me was just how versatile the Tacoma was to say that it's got such a big bottom line and to say that it is so forgiving. Hitting these two clubs out of the rough, I feel like this is really where the Tacoma can come into its own. It's got a much wider sole, a little bit more offset, and probably quite a lot of forgiveness to boot as well. So if we go with that first, the first thing you would say here in the rough is if you're gonna hit a two iron, albeit a driving iron, but still a low lofted club, you have to have an okay lie. You can see I've given myself some pretty good lies there. They're not exactly teed up, but they're not sat down either, because to be honest, you wouldn't attack a shot like that if it was sat down. You'd go more loft, you'd probably go hybrid or maybe even seven wood. Chris would definitely go seven wood, wouldn't you? So more, just over 200 yards out here uphill, front edge of the green, I'd take all day long. I feel like control-wise with the Tacomo, you'd be quite happy. 
especially with a shot like that it's all over the flag if it gets up there and that's pitched just front edge as i said you take that all day now if we start to look at the tailor made here we've already discussed how it's a lot sleeker a lot to be honest, probably better looking for a golfer like me who likes that kind of sleeker looking design but again that's quite subjective so it totally depends what you would like the look of looking down at this in the rough you're probably not as inspired with confidence inspired that you know you're going to get the forgiveness but if you're at one with your swing potentially you know you're going to be able to get the strike and the ball flight you want so can we get this closer than the Tacomo? That felt absolutely gorgeous. And that one again is all over it. Is that up there? That's pitched pretty much exactly the same front edge. The Tacomo actually launched a little bit lower. The tailor made there went a little bit higher, which I wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have bet money on because I would think that the kind of further back the center of gravity with the Tacomo would help it launch a little bit higher, but it just goes to show that any given swing on any given day can perform differently. Guys, get in the comments below, which one would you have in your bag in 2024?